Hi everyone, it's Chrissy and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Sims 2 speed build. So yes, we're back with another Sims 2 build. Like I told you guys in the video that went up on Tuesday, the next couple of videos and probably the rest of the videos for 2021 at this point will probably be Sims 2 content just because I'm a little bit burnt out with The Sims 4. So today we're actually going to be building another apartment block in The Sims 2 and these are kind of like, I guess kind of like townhouses more so than apartments. But they're supposed to be inspired by like traditional brownstone apartments that you would see in like New York and stuff like that. That's actually what I googled when I was looking for inspiration. So yeah, these are supposed to look kind of like brownstone apartments and you know there's three of them actually so they're like... They're two-story apartments, but there's three of them, so they're kind of like townhouses as well. But anyway, so yeah, we're building these in The Sims 2, obviously. We're building these for my Greenwood Valley save or like neighborhood that I'm working on. So yeah, these will be in Greenwood Valley, which is my custom neighborhood that I'm putting together. And I have done a bunch of different builds for this neighborhood already. I've done so many builds for this neighborhood. I will try and remember to leave a link to the particular playlist that I have where I have all of my Greenwood Valley builds in like one playlist. I'll try and remember to leave a link to that on the screen for you guys in case you want to go ahead and check out any of the other builds for this neighborhood. I keep wanting to say save file because in The Sims 4 you put together save files but in The Sims 2 you actually put together neighborhoods. So yeah, this neighborhood is one that I actually built from scratch. I created the terrain and like the map for it myself, everything like that. I'm doing everything from scratch. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. But yeah, these three apartments or like, I, I keep wanting to say apartments because in the game they will actually function as apartments. So your Sims will rent one of the three apartments. But yeah, in this video, we're actually only going to be doing the exterior of this build because I actually furnished two of the apartments completely. And then the I furnished the left one and the right one. I furnished both of those completely, but the middle one will have just like the basics in it. So like the kitchen counters and the plumbing so that your sims can go in, move in and you can furnish it to be whatever you want it to be. So the middle one is basically unfurnished. But because I basically furnished two whole like houses, I mean it's not like a small apartment. These uh, like townhouses are between, I think like they're between three bedroom, two bathroom and the other, yeah, two of them are three bedrooms and two bathrooms. And then the one on the right that I actually did furnish fully, that one is two bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. So they're not small, they're not like small studio apartments or anything like that. So yeah, they did take me quite a while to do. And if I were to put everything in like one video, so like the exterior and me furnishing both of the apartments, then this video would be like between 40 to 50 minutes long, you know, sped up and edited. And honestly, I just didn't want to do a voiceover that long, so I figured I would break these up into three separate videos. So you'll get like the exterior, and then you'll get two separate like apartment slash townhouse furnishing videos, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to sharing those with you guys. But also, I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas or anything like that around this time of year, then Merry Christmas. This build should be going up on the 24th of December, which is actually the day that we really celebrate Christmas on. I mean, over here, we tend to celebrate both Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And then my birthday is on the 26th. So we have like three consecutive days of, I guess, celebrating or like three consecutive days of important dates, if that makes sense. So yeah, it's a very busy time for us. But yeah, so today is Christmas Eve when you're seeing this, if you're watching it as it comes out. And if you're watching it afterwards, then I hope you had a great Christmas and Christmas Eve and like holiday season. If you celebrate, if you didn't celebrate, then I just hope you had a nice like December, I guess I could say. So yeah, hope you guys are having a great time. And if you're doing something for Christmas and you want to let me know what you're doing, then definitely let me know down in the comments. 
let me know what you're getting up to what you have maybe like on your wish list or something if you're hoping to get a specific thing for like christmas or something personally i'm just hoping to get a bunch of books like i mentioned in my video on tuesday i'm actually getting a kindle for christmas i know because i'm the one that ordered it so yeah i'm getting a kindle for christmas and i will be reading a lot because there's so many books that i have on my like tbr list so yeah i'm really looking forward to getting sucked into that but yeah so back to this build i can't remember what i wanted to say before i remembered about christmas and it being christmas so yeah i'm just i don't know what i was going to talk about but yeah, so basically this build is supposed to look like a traditional brownstone, like New York brownstone. Obviously it's not super like accurate or anything like that because there are a couple of things that you just can't do in The Sims 2 and it's just physically not possible. And there are also a couple of things where I just didn't have the content for it. So I could have gone and looked for some custom things, maybe like some custom windows that would have worked a little bit better or... You know stuff like that but honestly i just i really didn't want to do that because i was really in the mood to build and i didn't want to exit my game go and look for custom content and then risk me not wanting to build once i actually had the custom content because that happens to me a lot where i will go and go cc shopping for hours and then once i have all of the custom content then I just have no inspiration or energy left to do actual building. So yeah, I just, I really didn't want to do that. So yeah, this one is just a little bit, I guess it's inspired by New York, like New York brownstones, like that architecture. It's not super accurate, but it's inspired by it. So yeah, I guess it's the closest that I could get, I guess I should say. And the reason I did it in this particular style is because I have Greenwood Valley, so the neighborhood, I have it sectioned off into different parts. So there's like a suburban area where I'm going to do a lot of like more suburban, like American suburban architecture. And then I have a area that's more like older homes, like Tudor inspired homes. I have a little like island that I have a bunch of beachy lots planned out for. I have you know, a little bit more of a like rundown budget area where I'm going to do a bunch of budget homes and like trailers and stuff like that. I have a more modern expansion where I'm doing more modern builds. And then I actually have a more industrial area that I have like a little mall space in, like a mall community lot in. I have a nightclub. I have this lot is actually going to be in that particular area. And I have a bunch of other things planned out as well, but this is supposed to be more like the industrial, kind of like warehouse district type of area. So this is like the right opposite the main like train station, which in my head is like the main way to get into the town unless you're like obviously driving. But yeah, so there's like this big historical train station and this is like right off of main road, which is this road that runs right in front of the train station and if i remember to i'll try and put a picture up on the screen of the map that i'm kind of working on that i'm kind of working off of i guess i should say so i basically just took a bird's eye picture of the neighborhood and then i went into my editing software like photo editing software and i kind of sectioned off everything and kind of planned everything out so that i could have a little bit of a roadmap for myself when it comes to building because I don't build like I don't sit down and do 70 builds for this like in one sitting I tend to open the game play Sims 2 for a few weeks and then take a break from the game for months so I need that like roadmap to remind myself of what I was doing in which area when it comes to stuff like this because I'm someone that loves planning out things. It's one of my favorite parts of having a project is planning out everything. So yeah, that was that's a lot of fun. I'll try and remember to put a picture of it up on the screen. But this build is almost done. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give the video a like. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see some more Sims content, feel free to hit the subscribe button and remember to turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever I upload a new video. But yeah, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're having a great Christmas or holiday season and I'll talk to you all in my very next video. Bye everyone.